Am I wrong for being bullish on Bitcoin? In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the predictions that I have and why I still remain expecting a new all-time high to come on Bitcoin. I'm gonna be starting off with a little bit of an introduction before we move over to the technical analysis and trade setups that I have for long in the dip of a lot of worries that I see coming into the market. I mentioned in the last video, there are more and more bears coming in every day. They're viewing this as distribution. They are not thinking we're gonna get a new all-time high, and they are really thinking, I am gonna be wrong on this call. So far, we have seen that move and rejection of value area high, giving us a fake out of the triangle. And is it that now we are about to see doom and gloom and a very big drop to the downside? Time will tell. I have my plan. I have my trades locked up and ready and waiting for the setups that I've been presenting to my group. And now it's a simple case of waiting patiently for them to come to us. I am looking for a little bit of a dip here to buy, <laughs> to bring us up to my target <clears throat> of a new all-time high on Bitcoin. But will I be wrong? Let's say, let's jump into the charts and see exactly what is going on right now. Really simply, we had a rise to the upside, break of that triangle, brought us up to really simply the value area high. Okay, so value area, the higher the range, where we had confluence with a weekly naked point of control, $72,800. That is the absolute high of that move currently, as we got that rejection back into the triangle and bringing us up to where we are right now. So pretty simple stuff when you think about it. When you add on the technical analysis here, Okay, we know how we bounced off these lows down here. That was really simply the Fibonacci at the time from high to, you know, the low down here into the high CC value area low. Back up, we bounced off the reject from the value area high with confluence of the weekly naked point of control. Now, really simply, we're bringing our way back down to where I am looking at support. Okay, so this for me is a simple case. I want to make something extremely clear. I want to be very clear, okay, with you all. I have an undeniable uh, higher term time frame bullish bias. I really am looking for new all time highs, okay? I have, and, and this is also something that's very important, right? You can go back and fact check yourself. I have been calling long and chill, bullish, expect higher prices to come, no short trades at all. I'm in all my longs. I've been saying that since October last year. Well, we were all the way back here where we reclaimed $27,500, which for me at the time was a big resistance. As soon as we claimed that, that was bullish. We got into the value area low and there has been no looking back since. Okay, I've been bullish and I've took full advantage in this bull market of that to here, 160% rise to the upside. Okay, does that mean that I have missed some short trades during this period of the bull market? Yes, because I have had that bullish bias. I have been long and chill. And there have been some pullbacks which I have not shorted, which you could say I missed those trades, okay? And price ended up rising, as we've been looking at for months now, of continuation of the bull trend. And that's where we bring ourselves up to now. I absolutely recognized the short trade off the naked point of control, value area high, fake out of the triangle. It's a scenario I've been calling for. And you might wonder why then, why did I not short this high? And that is because I am viewing this from a swing traders perspective, and this is the trend that we are in. So just as I have not taken this short trade, there are several shorts during this uptrend that I have not taken, why? Because I am trading with the trends. I'm trading with the trend, which for me is undeniably bullish. I feel we're in a bull market, and I feel there's a very high probability of new all-time highs to come. And for me, that is so important that you understand. You know, I'm not the same scope trader that I was a few years ago, okay? I'm very much focused on the higher-term time frame trends and getting involved on that trend, trading with the trends, and making extreme profits based on the overall swing trade that we are in, okay? So that's that's my thought process, and I really need you to understand that when it comes to these videos, okay? So, you know, when I come in here and I say I'm bullish, 
okay? When I've even been saying on, you know, you know, when I've been writing to my group on Twitter, so yesterday, um, you know, waiting patiently for the drop to $67,000. You know, I'm not bearish waiting for $67,000, but I'm actually bullishly, still, I'm still bullishly biased. I want to see that bit of a drop. Why? Because I want to be able to, like I say here, gives me another opportunity to long the dip. I'm following my plan and trading the high probabilities, okay, from a swing trader's perspective. So yeah, I'm more than happy to see these drops because this for me is still the opportunity to load up okay, and bring it up to targets, which are, for me, new all-time highs on Bitcoin. Again, could I be wrong? Are we about to see a massive downturn? Absolutely, that is possible. And it simply means I didn't short the all-time high, which I have to accept, okay? And I have to then look for a new trade in the future, which would be some form of a hedge. But for now, I am bullishly biased. I am expecting continuation to all-time highs, and that, for me, equals another important point. That could be that we reverse at $67,000. It does mean that we could also come down to the range low at $58,000 before the reversal. But that, for me, does not change my bias. My plan is the same. While we maintain higher-term time frame support, we are in a very higher-term time frame, bullish, strong market structure. While for me as well, the levels of resistance are minor versus the levels of support, which are major, we have some very bullish patterns coming up. We have the three drives pattern. We overall are holding support. We got a big layer of support below us. So you might think that I am wrong by being bullish, okay? And maybe I will be. Maybe I will be. And I've always said that I'll be happily, I'll happily come here and say I was really incorrect with that call. And, you know, I myself will take damage on my trading portfolio from that too, right? Because I am positioned for higher prices, okay? And what I want you all to truly understand here, when I come here with my, you know, my biases, my predictions, it is based off the technical analysis, okay? From a swing trader's perspective, I'm looking to get into Bitcoin. I'm looking to get into several different altcoins that I can, well, Bitcoin, I've already secured my longs, but you know, there's a lot of new altcoins that I'm extremely interested in. You know, you've seen me looking and trading, you know, Pepe, been looking at uh, Avalanche, we've been looking at Jasmine, okay, we've been looking at Boom. <laughs> you know, we're looking at all these new altcoins, which I feel have amazing upside potential. You know, I'm talking hundreds of percent to the upside. I'm not looking to get into Bitcoin. I'm not looking to get into these altcoins and bringing it up 5%. I'm looking for 500% to the upside. You know, these are, this is the type of trader I am now. I'm going for these long-term, big, massive gains. So you might think that I'm incorrect by not shorting this 5 10% drop to the downside. But I would say I am correct by not shorting that because I think we can get another 15% to the upside after that, at least, right? It all depends at the all time high reaction. But it's down to a matter of time frame perspective and trade perspective. For myself, I am happy to miss several of these downtrends in the uptrend. You know, if I miss on shorting 5%, I miss on shorting 5%, I miss on shorting 5%, but I'm still in along with 160% to the upside. Do you think I'm frustrated or annoyed about missing small gains when I'm after the bigger trend and that's my trading style? Well, I tell you, for a matter of fact, the answer is no. I'm happy to miss some shorts to take full advantages of the longs. OK, because I'm trading with the trend and I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's something I need you to understand. I know I can help you, but I do need you to actually absorb the information and listen carefully. OK, I will say this. If you are interested in the day trades or the lower term time frame swing trades, you have Severin, Rivalry and Eagle. Those three chart champions coaches are absolute legends on the microscopes, on the day trades, on pinpointing the exact shorts on Bitcoin, okay, on getting in those very quick moves. So if you want, after that more day trader style, scalp trader style, you've got to be looking in and checking in on the live trading, okay, on the trading channels of the other three chart champions coaches. I am much more focused on the swing trades. Okay, and you can combine it together, right? You can learn from the other three coaches from those 
lower term time frame perspectives, mix it in with my higher term time frame perspective. And that's how you can start to absolutely increase those gains massively, right? Um, so yeah, I, I really wanted to just bring this, you know, fairly quick video to explain how I come by my biases. It's of course from the technical analysis. When I say things like this yesterday of, right, I'm, I'm waiting patiently for lower, I'm happy to see these drops. Why is that? Well, I'm happy to see the drop because it's a buy the dip opportunity for me. This for me is positive. The more we drop, the more I can load up my bags to bring it up for even higher percentage gains to the upside. I am very sure that this alert will be triggered on Bitcoin. Could I be wrong? Yes. But I have no reason based off of my technical analysis, the statistics that I have based off of this trend, for me to contemplate that that is incorrect right now. The data that I have tells me the new all time high will be coming. Okay, that data of course indicates there is a potential of me being wrong and I am prepared for that. And I will more than happily come out here and tell you I was wrong to be so bullish. But I have been very bullish since the value area low reclaim back in October. I've made 160% gain to the upside, no leverage. And I absolutely feel we're going to be making another new high before over $74,000. This alert will be triggered and you will be thinking, wow, Daniel was correct on his bias. Why am I not paying attention? Let's wait and see. You know my bias. You know what I'm after. I'm looking for the new all-time highs as a swing trader. These dips for me are buy the dip opportunities. I'm very much now focused on Bitcoin and the altcoins, which I feel that's where we're going to be making a lot of gains this year. Thank you ever so much, everybody. If you enjoy this quick style of video, let me know in the comments down below. If you didn't like it, give me some constructive criticism. I'll be more than happy to listen and implement that. Thank you ever so much. If you want more from me, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. That's where we got the daily live stream updates. We got the live trading streams. We've added in the Asia Hour Bitcoin streams too. We got everything, several videos a day for you to get you up to date on Bitcoin. Chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. You know my bias. I'm honest and transparent with you as ever. And if you want more, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much and goodbye.